Boom, it's Bartis. My name is JK, and welcome to JK Art. What's up, boys? My name is JK, and welcome to JK Art. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys on how I set up my art studio in making videos for my YouTube channel or in making content for my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna show you everything I use on my studio. So, yeah, let's do some quick little montage. show you guys everything that I've used on this setup so I'm gonna start off with the camera so the camera that I'm using is the camera of my phone which is the iPhone 4s yes you heard it right the iPhone 4s because um, you know that's all I have and I can't afford to buy camera uh, I became resourceful and I didn't wanna limit myself just not having a camera or a fancy DSLR or something like that because I love creating I love you know I love speaking in front of the camera I love art I love filmmaking I love you know I love creating something different and not having the, the equipment not having the expensive things it's not a reason stopping me in creating of creating something it's not a reason of stopping you creating something I mean look at me right now I'm shooting with my phone with the iPhone 4s but you know it can give this in quality videos that's what I'm using right now and the next one would be the microphone that I'm using right now I do believe that a microphone is the half of your video you know 50% um, video and 50% of the quality is on the audio or on the microphone so right now I am using the BM800 it's a condenser microphone it's really really good and it could give me decent quality audio and it is very very affordable it costs around 800 pesos included with a boom arm so you don't necessarily need to have those expensive equipment but, but if you could afford it in the future so why not why spend some money onto that particular thing so you know at this at this moment just become just become more productive with the things that you have become more resourceful and use the things that you've already have and so let's move on so the next one would be the lighting so um, the lighting that I'm using right now is the firefly it's the regular circular bulb that I bought in the hardware so I made a video on about my lighting so it's a DIY I made it myself and I made a video about it and you can check it you can check it right here somewhere on the corner I will or I will link the link in the description down below so check it out if you want to see how I made my own DIY lighting for my studio yeah the next one would be the camera mount or the holder of my phone whenever I record so whenever I'm recording a video like this one I'm speaking in front of the camera I'm just using a gorilla pad and I put it on my table right in front of me and put some mirror at the back so that I can see my face because I'm shooting using the rare camera on my phone so that it could give a very good quality video because the front cam is not that good so that's why I'm looking back and forth from the camera and there because I want to check my face if I'm still in the frame and whenever I shoot a video while drawing I use this boom arm DIY microphone holder and instead of microphone I replace it with a, with a phone holder and attach it into the top part and then it could hold my phone and could give stability when I'm recording my drawings on top of my table. The next one would be that table, the table that I'm using and here right here uh, what I'm using right now so I've I am using two tables and the main table that I'm using is this one 
it is just a regular table and I put a glass on top of this one because um, you know whenever I use a cutter or something it would not be scratched and I also decided to use a glass when because um, it's easier for me to clean whenever I mix oil paints on top of this glass so it's easier to clean up and so the next one I have here another table so it's just a wood it is just a regular table wood and just a little bit you know slant and this is where I edit my videos this is where I put my laptop and you know just for editing nothing else and right here I got my painting is uh, whenever I paint um, a larger format like a canvas or a paper larger than that so I will use this one in making art and making videos so I just attach a paper or the canvas right here directly and then start painting or drawing so yeah I think that's it that's how I set up my art studio in 2020 in making videos for my youtube channel so thank you so much for checking out and if you like this video smash that like button down below and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and see you on my next video bye for now peace JK art